What is going on, plant family? Um, here today to share with you an unboxing of a plant shipment. Oh, it's kind of nerve wracking um, because you spend a lot of money on plants and you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, plants do not do well in transit as much as you may think, oh, it's just a plant, you know, it'll live. No, uh, plants are living creatures and shipping plants, you can't just ship a whole pot. Um, obviously, this is like 12 plants here. Uh, super small box from what I'm used to. So hopefully this is packaged really well. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I'm glad this came a couple days early. Actually, it's two days early. I've been speaking with a lot of people um, who have had a lot of their plant orders delayed. Um, and that's just a part of it. You know, right now, especially they're getting a lot of uh, week and you know, at least a few day delays, which is not good for plants. They need water, they need air. Uh, transit is not good for plants at all. Um, so without further ado, I will uh, go ahead and cut this box. Oh open. man, okay, so we've got some good roots here, packaged uh, pretty well in, uh, and taped up. Uh, humidity, water, things are very, very important, uh, but I definitely see a ton of white roots, which is really good. Whenever your roots have white tips, that's uh, very important. You wanna make sure um, that there's no rot, no black and, and super dark coloration. Um, and honestly, these look absolutely, absolutely perfect. Uh, so, look at that. Yes, that's that's exactly what you want. I mean, this one's even got some green on it. Uh, super, super, super white, which is amazing. Um, and again, you know, people always at want they they ask me what I do with plants. I quarantine all of my plants. Um, definitely don't want to uh, pot them as soon as. Like, I'm not gonna pot this as soon as I uh, get it. Uh, it's just not good for them. They're stressed out. You need to let them chill for a little bit um, and hang on. I let mine air out and uh, kind of get used. I leave them in here with the humidity and with the other plants because this is where they're gonna be. And you wanna acclimate them to your conditions because these conditions are way different. These are jungle plants. Um, so. Uh, very, very, very beautiful plant. I'm so excited to plant this one. They actually wrapped the new leaves for me. Uh, that was me just unwrapping them in uh, some toilet paper uh, to keep them protected. But this is just, I mean, it's perfect. Perfectly arrived plant. Uh, this is exactly what you want. I don't see any kind of leaf damage at all. And I don't see any kind of root damage, rot, or anything like that. So this is exactly what you want. This is a perfectly arrived and shipped and packaged plant. And some yellowing leaves here, and uh, that could be that could be a lot of things. Could be could be the travel. Could be uh, could be just uh, how this plant was when they sent it. But I did see some good pictures of it. Um, it didn't seem too bad. So. Uh, so you can see here, it's definitely got um, a some yellowing here on these leaves. They're stuck together just because they've been in that wrapper. So I'm gonna separate them, give them some air. They're super wet, so we'll separate them. And honestly, uh, you know, not too disappointed. We've got new growth right here, a new root coming right out of that. Uh, this is definitely a beautiful plant though. Uh, you know, the main leaf is, is really all I'm worried about it. And honestly, Leaves are definitely important to have uh, if they arrive um, in bad shape. It's not the end of the world. You know, as long as you've got good rootage, good nodes, um, and if you're not familiar with nodes, please look it up. It's N-O-D-E-S. Uh, it is where the growth points are. Um, so it's really important to make sure you've got good nodes. And honestly, you can revive plants, rehab them. Uh, I typically now will go to Lowe's and buy rehab clearance plants because they're not actually dead. You can bring them right back to life with just giving some love, some TLC, and uh, you know what they actually want. So it's there. Um, so definitely going to be good plant. Sure, I'll be able to bring this one back. Uh, get rid of. I'll actually probably get rid of. I'll let these leaves go for a week. If I see some more decline and uh, you know they don't turn green and look really pretty like this one, I'm gonna just cut them. I'll get rid of them. I don't want to have this plant wasting energy on uh, roots that are or on leaves that are not gonna live. Um, I'll cut them, then it'll shoot this one up for me. It'll be nice, new, and green. And honestly, this 
uh, leaf that's going to come out. This leaf will come out in my conditions. So it will be on my terms. I will be able to um, grow this one in my conditions and make this plant thrive. So it's good to actually have this. So I'll get rid of these leaves that are not used to my environment and um, make it uh, acclimated to my conditions. Okay, another perfect plant. Uh, this one definitely, I see some uh, soil remnants here where it's been in the soil. Um, roots are, are perfect condition. Uh, as you can see, leaves are in perfect condition. They are gonna have to uh, droop out. So when you get them, they're all like packaged together. So they will, you know, you don't wanna force them, but they will end up um, spreading out again. Uh, so looks great, perfect condition. Whew, man, that's a Milano there. That, that is beautiful. What a beautiful plant. Got some aerial roots going. Looks really, really, really good. I don't see any kind of leaf damage at all. Um, definitely going to need some high humidity here. Luckily, I do have this meter that I will show you guys. Honestly, invest in one of these. It's like $10 or $15 on Amazon. Um, it'll tell you the humidity. See, mine's at 78%, and that's without my humidifier. It has not been going. It's been raining here this week, but it is summer. Um, humidity's been pumping up. So I haven't really needed my humidifier in a couple days. Um, I, I think the lowest I've seen the humidity here without my humidifier is like 40 something percent, uh, almost 50. If you're above 40, no problem. Some plants, some plants do need a little bit more than, uh, than 40%, um, but I usually keep my humidity in this room between 50 and 70%. Right now we're at 80 and it's been hitting at 80 for the past little bit. And it's even getting higher as we sit here just from the moisture from the plants and things like that. So definitely invest in one of these. Uh, it will also tell you the temperature and things as well. Um, very, very good investment to have. Uh, definitely get yourself, Ooh, almost got a root there. That was not good. That's the main root too, my favorite. Uh, some of my favorite shape, please. For sure look at that bad boy and the roots on this thing are huge you know like that's super thick and you if you can see really closely the white fuzz there that's small uh, root hairs that's a really good sign you know you want to see things like that um, and honestly this is a great uh, plant I can see here that they did cut it they cut it right here um, the callus looks great. There's no rot going up into that node, which means that they did a really good job cutting this. And um, this plant has a little little scar right here. Not too bad, a little tear. No, Akari, that, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, don't eat the plants. That can definitely, you know, make you a little sad, but um, for the most part, no, this thing's gonna grow. I'm gonna make this thing grow so many new leaves and make it get so much bigger, so I'm not worried about it all. I'm worried about what comes uh, with these huge, awesome roots that they've given me. Um, so really, really, really excited. If you can see it up against the black here, really, really excited about this plant. Look at the leaf shape. You can see like it's got these long, um, long, oh, Kari, get going. Sorry about that again, guys. Uh, that's the, what you get when you have an African savanna cat. He's always into everything, eating plants and doing things like that. But that's a whole nother video. So, um, again, yeah, great looking plant. I'm super excited. Don't touch the roots. One of my favorites right here. And I can't wait to get one of these variegated. Um, if you guys don't know what variegated is, again, variegated means when a plant has white uh, discoloration on it um, in the leaves and things like that. And we'll, I'll talk to you guys if you guys want me to put a video together about variegation and things like that. I definitely will. Uh, but for now, this is just a regular villa These guys have given me, you know, plants with huge root systems. So a little bit of yellowing, no big deal. If you see here, they've actually wrapped these um, new leaves for me and protected them, which is great. And the reason I believe they're doing that is because the leaves will stick together, which is probably a part of why this one had some issues. These two leaves were sticking together. Uh, no, no big deal though. Uh, super happy with it. And again, I can see aerial roots. I've got good node. I see where they clipped it. Looks great. No kind of rot going down into that node stem and uh, yeah, I mean, it, other than that, it looks, looks really good. I've also got, if you can see right here, there's going to be another leaf popping out. So, 
And this leaf actually is not bad. This one has a little bit of yellowing, um, but this actually will turn darker. So it'll actually get this color. Uh, so it's not, not bad at all. I like it, got some roots, good to go. I will definitely accept that. As you can see, Kari staring at the wall, he's a little weird. So all of these plants that I've been ordering, I uh, have gotten good enough to, um, confident enough, oof, got a little leaf breakage here, uh, to rehab plants as well. So uh, if you want some practice, you know, go over to Lowe's, Home Depot, and get yourself some of those clearance, off the, off the rack clearance um, plants indoor. They are the easiest way to learn. And I get like orchids for three to five dollars. Um, I've actually got some here. This one was two dollars and it was on the shelf and all of the leaves were yellow. It was so bad. And I mean, you look at it now, it's looking great. Um, came right back and that was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So you can definitely bring, bring plants back for sure. Um, this plant, it definitely has some leaf damage uh, from shipping. The leaf bent over here and cracked it. So that's, uh, you know, gonna decrease the price. Um, but other than that, this plant does look really good. Look at these roots, jeez. That thing is so thick. Um, looks great. I am very, very happy with this plant as well. A little bit of excitement because <laughs> I've been waiting to get these plants. This thing has traveled so far to get here. Uh, but look at this. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And that's such a beautiful, like, look at the leaf on this thing. Uh, and it's, it's like heart shaped and the veins. And, you know, if you don't believe that, uh, you know, we are earth, like if you see this heart and it's got the veins and, and you know, this is just, nature is awesome what it can do and the beauty that it can provide. It's just, it's art for sure. Such a beautiful specimen. Easily done here. Not a bad looking plant at all. Um, I think this one is the Joepii or uh, Joepii, Joepii or however you pronounce it. Uh, super, super cool. The back of these leaves are dark burgundy-ish purple. Um, freaking awesome plant though. Looks really good, excited. Also got a new leaf coming out right here. If you can see that, it's got a new leaf coming out, so looking good, stem, everything, um, nodes looking great, roots are all bundled up there, so I'm excited about that one, that's a good one. So, um, can't see the coloration very, very, very well here, but it's, it's so cool, it's like a, it's type of camo looking color, um, and it's, it's tri-color, obviously, um, I don't know if you've seen, like, um, the Trio Stars, kind of got like a cool leaf pattern um super cool plant looks great this is going to be really cool for my collection this plant is so cool look at this leaf so it's called silver dragon or dragon scale plant whatever you want to call it um definitely really cool leaf pattern and shape and uh that they actually get a little bit more silver and you probably can't see it as much on camera but We'll get up close behind my black shirt here. You can see this, this plant is awesome. Um, the leaves are really coarse, like it feels good. Uh, also another leaf growing, new leaf coming out right there. That's awesome. Uh, this was packaged in spag, so sphagnum moss, so definitely no, um, it's gonna go right into the water once I get it out, get it ready. And oh, we have got this other one, last but not least. Also has another uh, leaf um, coming out there. Overall, I will say that this order, uh, I will give it a, I'll probably give this order about a seven, eight out of 10. Um, had some leaf damage and, and things on some of the plants, but for the most part, it's uh, it's been pretty good. Um, looking around, just trying to pick some things and kind of let you guys know what I see, but really just some leaf damage. All the nodes, all of the stems, all of the roots and everything on all these plants look really good. I haven't pulled some of them out of this bag, but for the most part, I would probably be able to tell. Um, but yeah, it looks really great. I'm really excited to get these plants acclimated, get them quarantined and get them ready for you guys. So, um, I'm gonna be getting a lot of orders coming up soon. I've got Monstera Thai Constellations coming in. I'm probably gonna do those much cheaper than you see anybody else doing them. I've got a bunch of those coming. Um, and I'm also really excited to show you guys my variegated Adansami as soon as I get that in. That's like my wish list plan. 
it is going to be awesome. You see, you know, I've been trying to get one of those forever. I couldn't find one at a good price and with the variegation that I wanted. So finally got one, really excited to get it. And I, I snatched it up. It's on its way here right now. Should be here in about three to four days. So really excited to show you guys that one. Um, and I'm glad to be able to show you unboxing them and you know what the nervous wreck that I am going through this and now it uh, it's just a waiting game and you know playing doctor trying to rehab trying to get these things acclimated so don't get discouraged uh, if you guys order any plants and you see any kind of damage on them it is a part of it it's gonna happen uh, plants don't travel well so uh, time for me to get to work thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate your time and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys some more videos looking forward to seeing you guys get some plants from me if you guys have any questions or anything you know go ahead and shoot them in the comments go ahead and shoot me a message whatever you'd like I, i'm here to answer any questions that you guys need any help that i you know can give you guys i will i am not a you know <laughs> professional botanist or plant grower or anything like that i just freaking love plants and obviously uh, I grow a lot of them and I've been growing a lot of coral and plants for a while. So really excited and looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks a lot.